Are you applying to Columbia? Do you need help writing the Columbia Supplemental Essays? Don't worry, I got your back. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Patel, the founder of Transition, and we've helped thousands of students with their college essays. And I'm looking forward to helping you. Before getting started, please press subscribe if you're interested in learning more about college and career topics. Our videos cover everything from college essays, to high school planning, to becoming a successful professional. In this video, I cover what are the Columbia Supplemental Essays, how do you write each Columbia Supplemental Essay, brainstorming strategies for each Columbia Supplemental Essay, and of course, the best strategies to write in the Columbia Supplemental Essays. Columbia is one of the most prestigious colleges in the United States, with an acceptance rate hovering around 6%. Located in New York City, it's known for its strong academics, beautiful campus, and of course, competitive admissions. Although Columbia accepts a common application, it requires supplementary writing samples that are crucial for bolstering your chances of acceptance. Trust me, if a college requires you to write supplemental essays, they really care about the answers. This video will help you obtain a better understanding of what is required in the Columbia supplemental essay responses and how to write your way to an acceptance letter. Okay. So what are the Columbia Supplemental Essay requirements? According to Columbia University's website, the university requires additional writing supplements in order to learn more about your academic, extracurricular, and intellectual interests. They seek to understand what makes you a qualified candidate beyond the test scores and transcripts. So section one is the list question. The four writing prompts are especially unique. They require you to make a list, not write an essay. They state that no formatting or explanation is needed. Just list your responses with commas or semicolons. Not even an order to your answers is needed. I advise you to take these prompts as simply as they're given to you. So list out your answers without overthinking it. The admissions committee wants to know more about you in a quick and efficient way because they have so many applications they get to. And giving them a list they request will give them a chance to do just that, which is read your application. List the titles of required readings from academic courses that you enjoyed most during secondary or high school. Think back through all the required reading you've been assigned in high school this year and ask yourself, what was your favorite? What was the most fun to read? Which work taught you the most? Which one challenged you the most? Simply list the titles of these awesome readings as your response to list question number one. The next one is list the titles of books, essays, poetry, short stories, or plays you read outside of academic courses that you enjoyed the most during secondary or high school. So can you tell it's important to Columbia's admissions team that you're an avid reader? List your favorite non-school reads in this section. If you're not an avid reader, then you need to get creative. Think back as far as possible. You're sure to have read at least a few books on your own. Even if they're the only ones you've read, write them down. The next one is list the titles of print or digital publications, website, journals, podcasts, or other content with which you regularly engage. Once again, that ever so important reading factor is at the heart of this prompt. List out that other content you've enjoyed so much. It's that simple. And be sure to consider each of the content areas listed above, and then write down your all-time favorites, especially the titles that will impress the admissions team the most. And these are the ones that you feel the strongest about. The next one is list the movies, albums, shows, museums, lectures, events at your school, or other entertainment that you enjoyed most during secondary high school, in person or online, of course. The prompts take a small turn here to talk about what you've watched versus what you've read. However, you'll still answer the question in the same exact manner. So get creative while creating your list. And don't forget your childhood movies or neighborhood plays if they made a true difference on your life. Now you can use this advice to write a powerful list. For the Columbia list questions, you're asked to provide a list of readings, books, culture events, and entertainment, and etc. You might be thinking to yourself, oh no, classics are great, but I also love reading comics and attending heavy metal shows. That's okay, and it's not a problem. There is no requirement to show off prestige picks or to impress your readers with a list of really dense or pretentious novels. These sections are intended to get to know you as a human being. So be show that you're interested and passionate about the world around you. Columbia's student body is diverse, and there are plenty of comic book readers and heavy metal listeners that break this Ivy League stereotype. And that's a great thing. Don't let your favorites get you down. Columbia truly wants to hear about the real you. That's what bleeds through your essay and shows them who you are. One thing you want to keep in mind while creating each of your lists is variety. Even though you really love British classics, if you have read and enjoyed other works, you should include those as well. If your list includes works that are all from one genre or are similar in terms of ease or difficulty, Try to mix it up. Give your readers a well-rounded perspective of who you are and what you enjoy the most. One prompt asks for required readings. This does not mean you have to strictly list books, so don't pigeonhole yourself. Maybe you read a research study in biology or a primary source in American history that captured your interest. 
list those as well. Otherwise, you're just regurgitating the same reading list required for every English student in high school. So get creative here. The same advice can be applied to the following questions. For example, try not to list films exclusively, but other suggestive types of entertainment as well. If your science teacher played an episode of a show on Animal Planet as part of a curriculum and you enjoyed it, add that episode to the list. If your history class went to a show of Hamilton and you loved it, that counts as well. Put that on your list. The admissions office is looking for variety and intellectual sincerity. Curate your list to offer a coherent picture of how you think and what you think about. It's really important. So while this is not an essay, you may want to have a common thread that points to your interests and values. If you like Latin American literature, you may share a novel by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, nonfiction by Paulo Freire, short stories by Jorge Luis Borges, and a film by Alejandro Iñárritu. If you're a music enthusiast, you may have read biographies about musicians you love, watched The Voice, and saw Coco or The Greatest Showman. If you're all about social media, you may include the show Catfish, an episode from a show that depicted the implementation of social media, and YouTubers you follow. Here's an example of the required reading list. Here's an example of a list of books. Here's an example of print electronic publications and a website list example. All right, now, the last three prompts are true essay questions and they have a requirement of 200 words or less. They give you a bit more freedom to show the Columbia admissions team who you are and why you belong in their student body. I'll work through each prompt in detail now, sharing tips and advice so you can formulate your best possible response. Here's Columbia Supplemental Essay Prompt number one, contribution to your community. Columbia students take an active role in improving their community, whether in the residence hall, classes, or throughout New York City. Their actions, small or large, work to positively impact the lives of others. Share one contribution that you have made to your family, school, friend group, or another community that surrounds you. This prompt may sound intimidating at first, but it's actually the perfect way to show the admissions team at Columbia that their student body really needs you. It's not about whether or not Columbia is a perfect school for you. It's about how you'll fit in with the incredible difference makers that are already attending the school. But to start, think of a way you've made a difference in the world around you. It can be large or small. The prom states that this does not have to be about leaving a massive difference, although it's great that if it is. But don't worry if the difference you made was just somewhat small. Just make sure to paint a clear picture of what you did and what difference it made on the community that you're a part of. Maybe you started a club to help your fellow first-time college students prepare for the journey that lays ahead of them. You could have paid for the groceries of the person in front of you when their payment was denied. You may work hard at your after-school job to help your parents pay the bills giving younger siblings a better life. No matter what the difference is, if it made an impact on the lives of people around you, it's sure to impress the admissions team at Columbia. So use that story and never be ashamed of it. Be sure to use plenty of detail so the people reading your essay feel like they're right there with you in the action. Show the difference you made and share a little bit about how it made you feel as well. Make sure the admissions team knows you're capable of making a difference in the Columbia student body as well. Okay, let's move on to Columbia Supplemental Essay Prompt number two, Why Columbia? Why are you interested in attending Columbia University? While this prompt word count maximum is still short, which is 200 words, you're at least able to express your ideas more thoroughly than a list allows. It's important to address not only what interests you about Columbia University, but also why. So keep it short and get right to the point. Always tie your interest with Columbia's. This means that you should not write about just Columbia or you. Write about how Columbia is a great fit for you. If there's something about their values you love, try to briefly show how you would be a great addition to Columbia's student body as well. Here are some aspects Columbia prides itself with ideas and how to include them in the essays if they're really important to you. Sustainability. Perhaps you love how Columbia is upgrading its campus to become friendlier to the environment, but it's really important. Does this fit in with how you grow plants and keep a garden? Does it fit in with their accelerated classes or service learning? Diversity. Do you love how Columbia brings people together? How has your identity shaped your experiences in life? Would you feel welcome at Columbia? What do you want to do on a campus to promote diversity? How will you act on that change and make it better for everyone? Rigorous academics. Is there a faculty or alumnus that 
you admire and would love to study with? Do you want your beliefs challenged in college? Which of your beliefs do you anticipate will be challenged? Is there a class you want to take or a group that you want to join? It's not enough to say, I want a college with diversity and Columbia values it, and therefore it's a good fit. This is true of hundreds of schools across the country. Imagine that you're telling someone on a third date what you appreciate about them. You wouldn't say, I like that you have hair. You'd want to point out the particulars. You could say that you appreciate how Columbia offers generous financial aid options to ensure that qualified students across the socioeconomic spectrum have the opportunity to learn from one another. You may want to consider limiting your response to maybe just two or three aspects to keep things concise. If you write about eight different reasons you want to attend Columbia, you will not have enough space to fully develop your response and your story. It's better to be thorough and clear. This goes for all aspects of writing. There are a variety of topics you could cover, but be sure to choose those that apply to you the most. In why this college essays like this one, you also want to write about school programs with capital letters. The idea is you're using proper nouns and specific aspects of the school to show that you did your research. Thus, if you value innovation, you'll find that the school has a cross-university program called Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Columbia. You want to research this program and demonstrate how you've already exhibited and you want to research this program and demonstrate how you've already exhibited a love and passion for building and producing new products and services. You could start your research at the university homepage. Click on academics or prospective students to find out what the college offers in the fields that really interest you. Continue clicking on the courses and programs that interest you until you're deep into the website and you've really done your research. Find the specifics that really speak to you. What details, both large and small, make Columbia your dream school? If you take pieces of who Columbia is and combine them with who you are, you're sure to write a stellar essay. Now let's move on to the Columbia Supplemental Essay Prop number three, Area of Study Experience. Please tell us what from your current and past experiences, either academic or personal, attracts you specifically to the areas of study that you noted in the application. This is another question that sounds tricky at first, but is really an excellent stage to show off who you are and what you've got to offer the Columbia admissions team. Instead of feeling worried, get motivated. This essay is an excellent opportunity to share why you belong at Columbia next fall. Start by thinking about your major or area of study. What drew you to it? Was there a specific experience that piqued your interest? Maybe your dad's an entrepreneur and you've always been interested by what he does all day. You may have seen construction workers building a house as a kid and you haven't stopped dreaming of being one on the blueprint design team since then. You could have become interested in the medical field after receiving a rare diagnosis because you want to make sure treatment is easier and more successful for kids who got the same thing as you. With this prompt, remember to show action and to be authentic. You don't have to have an impressive story as to why you chose your future area of study. The admissions team actually wants to know what led you to that specific field and what actions did you take. So be proactive in your writing and show the actions you took to pursue your interests. They want to use this as an opportunity to get to know you, to show them who you truly are and why you're passionate about the field you'll be entering in a few short months. If this fits your work count, also try showing off a bit of knowledge you already have in the field. It may set your application above the rest, helping you get into Columbia. But remember to stick to the work count and keep things concise. An essay that is filled with authenticity and detail is sure to impress the admissions team. Columbia University is a competitive school known to scour through applications to find the strongest candidates for admission. Be sure to check your responses thoroughly for grammar and spelling errors. Ask yourself, have I been specific, honest, and enthusiastic? Have a friend or a family member read your responses to provide feedback on authenticity. Ask them, does the essay show the real you? Does it reflect who you are and not what you think admissions officers want to read? Finally, before submitting, review your answers for a variety. Do your responses paint a broad picture of who you are as a person? If you're ready to send your work onward, if so, you're ready to send your work onward and earn that acceptance letter. I wish you the best of luck. And by following the tips that I mentioned already, you're sure to submit a compelling application and give you a good shot to get that acceptance letter. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about how to write the Columbia Supplemental Essays. Please press subscribe for more content on college apps and essays. Now it's your turn. In the comments, tell me the trouble you're having with with respect to the Columbia Supplemental Essays. I'll get back to you and give you some really awesome advice. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the comments. Bye.